So we've just defeated the boss and finished our flashback and... Now we're in this snowy place. I think it's a garden. Gee, <laughs> what tipped you off? Maybe the fact it's outside and has plants and stuff. I don't know how there's plants growing. There's ice and snow around. There are some really hardy plants. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm gonna enter the castle. We're not gonna look around some more. No, no, there's nothing to do out here really, to be honest. Not now. Oh, what a great way to start off. You know, we did Grande Vasil. Brilliant. Brilliante. We haven't yeah. had one of these for a while, have we? Yeah, when was the, la was the last one Revolution? Or did we have one past No, that? we did. We did have Tristies, but we talked all the way through it. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we got four. The work composed when Chopin was 21 years old. say during this Timing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where um, just ringing up for a nice chat. The best time possible. <laughs> yeah, we're in a very good part in the game for that. Oh, I'm missing all of the action. And you know what? I, I, thought it was, I thought it was weird just me calling it a game since this is what we're doing so far. Gallery Simulator, the game. <laughs> History lesson, the game. <laughs> Someone make that. <laughs> History lesson, the game. <laughs> I bet it would make history go a lot faster. It could, yeah. It might get people more interested in history. Yeah. I, see, I liked history because I liked the stories, mm. but then they'd put a piece of paper in front of me and say, write down everything we just told you. And I go, no, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> not unless I can put dragons in it. I'm not writing the story you just told me. <laughs> well, that's what I liked about English. When they tell us to create our own story, that was probably my favorite thing I did in English. That was the only bit of coursework I got an A star in. Yeah, Everything. that was my highest yeah. English um, literature, isn't it? English literature, yeah. yeah. And you do a story or something, it's just one question. You expect it to be so hard, but it's just about being creative. To yeah, me be really. creative and put in all the punctuations. You get <laughs> marks for having semicolons and stuff like that in there. Yeah. I still got actually one of my stories I created back in year nine, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've even checked on it, it's on my iMac. Nice. Yeah. Is it any good? Because I remember the story uh, I did for my coursework I was mean, not very good, but it's <laughs> still have, got an A star. I looked at it and I thought there are um, a few things I can actually improve with, but uh, I still like it. I, I went all the way through it and I still uh, enjoyed what, reading it. Not watching it, read it. I enjoy watching the, pit, the words on the page. They never move. 
It's so much fun. I remember how I created each part as well. It's like, I gotta think of a name for this person. I know! I got it for like Sonic and Amy. You called them Sonic and Amy? No, I called the girl the main character Amy, but I called the boy Sam instead of Sonic. Oh, it's a little bit more normal. Yes. Sam and Amy. Samey. And it was no romantic relationship because they were both kids. She beat That Trump. won't stop the internet. The internet will ship them. Ship name Samey. <laughs> what is it that they do the fan service? Call it Son Amy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Son Amy. It sounds like a French word, doesn't it? Son Amy. <laughs> sounds a bit like Mon Amy. It does. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to say it sounds very similar to a French word. Oh, Chopin's angry. I've missed so much. <laughs> oh, he's he's ticked off at you now. Look what have you done to There's Chopin. There's true feelings and mask and power and don't hit me with your baton. Or your oh. stick. <laughs> we got him he, a stick now. He does have the stick. He's had the stick. Does he still have the stick, actually? Or have we proved yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, he's got the stick. I don't think we've gotten anything else since then. That is a gargoyle and a half. Wow. It looks like a lion. Partly. Makes me think of Wizard of Oz. Return to Oz, actually. Return to yeah. I kind of, gargoyles are cool and weird because they're always an animal, but with human features. Like that kind of look like a fish or a lion, but with a human nose. Yeah. Yeah. I totally ignored everything that was in that history lesson. I feel bad about it now. And uh, now we're in Baruch Castle. Rock. Don't say it. <laughs> If it ain't Baroque, don't fix it! Anyway, we're in a castle. Yay! That was wonderful. Everyone danced so beautifully. I wish I could dance like that. Practice makes yeah. perfect. Wow, I never knew Frederick was that good either. Uh. Huh? Good at what? Dancing, you know. The of course. Oh, the Weren't piano. You watching? Didn't you see him playing? Yes, he, he was just playing just that so music amazing. just then. Oh, there I thought he was dancing. <laughs> He kind of is. <laughs> Frederick was playing that music? That's exactly I'm so surprised! That's exactly what he said. I didn't pay any attention to who was playing the music. Don't worry, you're not the first. Oh, salsa. Hey, you guys! We have to go see the captain! Hurry! The, oh. See the captain? You two need to stop calling him the captain. You should call him Prince Crescendo, for he is the Prince of Baroque. Baroque? I'll bet the captain's going to have a feast prepared to thank Frederick for playing the piano. It isn't fair if they get a head start. Mm, um. Oh, so Frederick has already gone to join Prince Crescendo? Yeah, yep. and if we don't hurry up, they'll eat all the food. I'm sure they won't. I wonder if they're going to feed us something really good. Come on, let's go. I don't want to miss out on that. Aww. Cheese! Salsa's ruled by her impulses. Where have all these people come from? They appeared from the ground, I guess. Do we get an achievement for talking to all of them? <laughs> like, hey lady, nice hat. No, I don't even know what achievements you can get. I think you can in the Xbox 360, but I don't know about the PS4. Almost definitely, there's always achievements in the 360. Hmm. Even if it's turn on game, play game, finish game, move around all the settings, look at the menu. Are you done? Get a new outfit for the character. Get another outfit for the character. <laughs> <laughs> Take uh, a picture of your character in their outfit. Right, before we go to um, Prince Crescendo, we are going to get some stuff. Just some stuff. Over here, we have score piece number 10. Um... The way those tanks are bubbling, it kind of looked like um, there was an item, you know? Like yeah. the sparkles coming off an item. I don't think there was, but it kind of looked like it. Oh! Oh, right. Hey! Poison? Not sure what gender that is. <laughs> right, we're going to play either score piece number two or nine, but we'll just go right up to two. Ugh. That sounded off that bit, yep. didn't it? That can't be a good grade, can it? No, it's only a B. Only a B. Fair enough. 
I didn't sound too bad. And we got a cookie! Cookie! Alright. And something else. I'm gonna play number three. Number three. I thought you said nine. No, um, two and nine would have done the same thing, but uh, if you play nine now, you're not going to get anything. Oh, uh, okay. It just depends how many you got. We're going to play three. That sounds minor. As, as this, it's just like, uh, in the middle of a thing. It's just like, it's so happy, and then no. <laughs> <laughs> got an angel trumpet. Worth it, maybe. Oh, no, probably, that's it. probably a lady as that was a maid, but. I thought that was a guy just with a ponytail like jazz. I was thinking more of the outfit because I didn't see the hair, but oh, right. I don't know. It could be a guy maid. They uh, exist. I think I'm the one no, no, no. Oh, stupid plants. Curse these Move, things. plant! Get out the way! Get out no, the way, plant! Get out the way! You're done. No. That's why I stopped. Let's see. These oh. ladies in the impossible dress- Oh, hey, Princey! The, they kind of look like oh, mermaid tails, you know the way their dress is? Yeah. Cause I got this sort oh, of bunchy yeah. thing and then it goes in at the legs. Tarot cards. Okay, what's my future? You will jump off a cliff. How did you know? <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> yeah, at the beginning of the damn thing. <laughs> you will become very good at diving. There's a fire. Nope. I should think so, it's freezing outside. And these are big empty spaces and there's no carpet or what can we assume is insulation? It's gonna be, it's gonna be really cold in there if there weren't fires everywhere. I've gone the wrong way. Unless they were using some sort of magical central heating system. Maybe. Maybe. It's a weird world because it seems kind of medieval in a way, but yeah. at the same time. Because uh, we've not got TVs or stuff, I don't think I've seen a radio or anything like that around here. And we sell stuff in pouches and there are travelling uh, merchants and we don't have the internet, that kind of thing. But they've got beautiful craftsmanship like that clock, so maybe we have a piece of paper inside apparently. Yeah, okay, so the cleaners aren't that good. Or one of the cleaners was saving Scorpio, I don't know. Oh, jeez. Curse these doors, everything here. Alright, and you? So, chess and cards. They're not very compatible. No. There we go, now we can talk to her. Oh, no, it wasn't her. Was it somebody else? I don't why, know. Why, was it you? Yes, it's you. <laughs> oh my, what's a commotion? What's your only hand there? Have you come for a session then? Yes, I'd like to perform with you. Um, Celebrity. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, or nine. We're doing the same thing. Uh, didn't we miss a score piece? Oh. So I don't think that was the right number. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, because we missed out number six as well. I don't know. We've missed out one. We missed out. We missed six. out another one later. Did we mention where six was? I don't think I did. Did I? Mm. Six is in the city of Andante. Uh, you have to go down the stairs, look into some barrels. It will tell you to go back to the entrance, and behind this really big stone pillar on the bridge, there's another piece of paper, and there will be a score piece there. All oh, right. Do you have to go to the barrels before you go you to the You have to go to the barrels first, yes. Uh, okay. Two, three, four, five, seven. Six, seven. No, we missed out six. So yeah, yeah, so it's a six, seven. So it should be this one. Very similar, both of those two. Hmm. That's it. 
Yeah, it's slightly less awful than the first time we played it. <laughs> yeah. Love Clover. Yeah, now, Clover. Now, since we missed out score piece one, it would have been an A rank and we would have got another easy item. The string phone. The what? It's an easy string phone. It's another easy item. Oh, I feel like maybe if we collect all the easies. Mm. I think they are something to do with encore mode. Because there's a place called Easy Centre and you can only go into there for Encore Mode and I haven't done that yet because I haven't gotten all the score pieces yet. Okay, so maybe... Maybe something for after, like if uh, enough people want to see it and we enjoy the game enough we could maybe go see what that easy thing is going, because I'm curious. Especially since such a letdown that friggin' cracker what? <laughs> this is the laboratory. <laughs> Hi. Now, unfortunately, we can't go in there, even though. Clean. What does he think? What does he think I am a maid? How dare you, you filthy scumbag! But I'm running away now. Right, we can't go in there, but we do need to go in there for another item. But we can go to that later. Okay. Oh my gosh. What? It was like, quick! We gotta find the prince. Where is he? Can you help me find the prince? Oh, I'm talking about cards and chess. Can you help me find the prince? <laughs> the prince is the one with the guard. Ah, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> um, sure, helmet head. All right, we've got a cutscene now. Kind of, the helmet kind of looked like Cryface. <laughs> oh! Because <laughs> it had like uh, eyes and then the line where the mouth was. Yeah. Allow me to introduce my fiance. This fiance. Is and the little one with her is Minuet. Oh, Minuet. I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> What's going on here, Sosa? They're just talking about boring stuff. I don't see food anywhere. Well, I just thought we were probably going to eat all the good stuff before we could get here. So, Sosa lied? <laughs> there is something I wanted to tell all of you. Oh, they already have eaten all the good stuff. You were so late. <laughs> so yeah, now we're introduced to Serenade. Not much about her at the moment. <laughs> oh, she got a little heart thing on her necklace. As soon as his preparations are complete, it is almost certain that he and his armies will invade Baroque. I like how on Crescendo's chest you can see like a little is snowflake since Kawak is, um, is in the snow. Yeah, if you look really carefully actually, I just noticed he's got like V's, kind of like the Tri Crescendo logo. I've noticed that. Oh yeah! Oh, that never come across my mind! You know, I actually thought those look a bit suspicious. I thought it's just weird well, little detail I like that. Oh, nice one. Why couldn't I see that? Casualties. So I ate it on Dantino. You see, I'm opposed to that plan. I believe assassination would be the equivalent of a declaration of war against Forte. Well, killing someone does and kind of initiate blood. Would it not be the same mm. kind of evil for which Count Waltz is responsible? And you said it was just a coincidence. <laughs> you thought it was just a coincidence how it was just crescendo, tri crescendo, and they got a character like that. And you thought, no, that's got nothing to do with the title. Oh, it has got nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah, but now you just notice those little lines on it. Oh, yeah, a slight similarity. But that is disgraced in the end. I'm thinking more about the similarity parallels. I'm trying to draw a line of correct. parallel between name Looking and behaviour. Crescendo's all about assassination and Serenade, which is quite a sweet, soothing song, kind of like a lullaby type Someone thing. Mm. Um, that's, she's all about peace. She certainly seems it, doesn't she? Mm. If it's really as important as all that, how can people just forget about it? It's because the passage of time allows us to forget tragic and painful events. We let them go so that we're able to continue on with our lives. Uh, time does a bit, but you got to actually come like to terms with it as well. Set, and then blown away by the wind. They're all forgotten. Yeah, you need to apologize as well. You can't just forget. But there are some things we must never forget, no matter what. Tragic memories that we have to carve firmly in stone. 
so that the wind can never blow them away. Don't you just love how they contradict each other? I don't think those two And Chopin's just kind of like being cut down by a 14 year old again. <laughs> and getting beaten by her now. <laughs> of all these lines! Baroque can no longer provide you with any assistance. No matter how much of a tyrant Count Waltz may be, there is no way we can be absolutely certain that he will ever attack us. If we were to make a preemptive strike against him, it would be a classic example of man's suspicious nature leading him to war. Serenade, I know in my heart that everything you said is correct. But I'm still going to ignore you and go ahead with my plan. That's why I wanted it. Um. What is it, Captain? It's nothing. What was that? We must achieve it was like thunder. Peace, not simply I thought it was a knock at the door. Hello? Because of the current Never mind, it's nothing. Today, there is no way I can leave Baroque at the present time. Besides, if I were to be seen making contact with Andantino, that very thing alone could act as a trigger for war. War is very touchy. Is there any way you could meet with Jazz and tell him for me that this struggle itself is the very thing that's leading the world into chaos? Sure, we'll let just a book know. Yeah, we'll you convey mean, your mystic hibbity gibbity vagueness to message. Andantino that Baroque can no longer provide support for its actions. I know that it's selfish of me to ask this of you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're right. As you say, it is rather selfish of you. Tell him, Chopin! Frederick? <laughs> uh, Up until now, you have been providing Andantino with support. Is that correct? Denying them that support because your opinions have changed is rather irresponsible. I think Frederick is beating Polka at his own, has his own game now. <laughs> He's lying. Uh, we have come to realize that the actions we have taken up to this point have been mistaken. Regardless of the criticism that we may face later, should we not correct those mistakes? I imagine it won't be difficult for the two of you to shake off any criticism. However, have you stopped to consider what this will do to Andantino? will be cut off without any warning. Yeah. Mm. Of course, it wasn't our intention for the people of Andantino or Forte to suffer. Paved with yet, good intentions. As the Prince of Baroque, I have a duty to put the welfare of my people above all else in any decision. Then Prince Crescendo, do you admit that you were merely using Andantino to push forward the interests of Baroque? It is rather convenient that your ties to a rebel band from a neighboring country could so easily be severed once the need arose. That is not true. Great Crescendo would never do anything like that. Hush, my sweet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jazz and I have known each other since the days of our youth. We may have different social positions. Okay, how many of these characters have childhood friends? Now it's Jazz and Crescendo that known each other since childhood? No, it's childhood? just Jazz. Jazz knows everyone from when they were Bay. Oh, and, yeah! Uh, no, uh, and Beat and uh, Reto grew up together. But that's it. It's a mountain rich and poor located on the... And Souls were March of Sisters. I know all about it. Thanks to all the digging Forte's been doing out there, Hokoto Forest is in big trouble. Jazz is originally from that area, and through its history... Actually, Jazz is originally from... <laughs> I'll stop. Oppressively I'm a little void now, and I'm not gonna ask. Many people have opposed their cruel treatment of the miners, as well as their utter disregard... Why do I keep staring at the hat? Because the hat compels you! <laughs> Jazz was always a passionate leader. Since we were young, he's always had a talent for him, making decisions and taking action. Yeah, like having a tingling feeling and deciding, so IT'S NOTHING! Honest, when I heard he had taken part in a revolt of the Forte Miners, well, knowing him, I can't say it came as much of a surprise at all. So he's always been so before? reckless. Unless his girlfriend's in trouble, then he's just Forte's like me. <laughs> yeah, then he doesn't give a damn. Much blood was spilled. By the time Baroque intervened, it was over. After that, Jazz never returned to Baroque. He founded Andantino to continue his fight against Forte. 
So, Anantino's a made up place founded by a guy named Jazz. So, that's like, it's, it's a made up village or something? So it's kind of like uh, uh, the French resistance kind of thing. Mm. But France was a country already, so this makes. Uh, Believe me, even though I can no longer support Jazz directly, I haven't forsaken that bond of friendship. Oh, I think Jazz might see it differently. Mm. Him, and I'm hoping to find a peaceful because, well, I don't know what Jazz will be like now after seeing his girlfriend. Jazz is probably in a bit of a sticky situation. Yeah. Well, if he saw his girlfriend. We didn't see what the characters' reactions yes. are, did we? No, no. It's no. like, oh, hey, we're back, Clavis. Oh, my God! You didn't clean the floor! Clavis? I'm still dying! How? The bridge is broken! Then let's return to Retardano. Bridge is broken, right? The Kabasa Bridge. And the are all right. It's Frederick's dream. He'll I make everyone fly. <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> That's the sound of salsa crashing into a wall. Why salsa? <laughs> Damn, you're so mean. Hey, lady and gentleman. So now we please be careful. You're the only person I can ask this. Please, you have my deepest gratitude. Look at that you know what? Tube. You know what I want instead of your gratitude? Food. Look in here, there's no food, there's no fish. I know. Oh my gosh, you suck. 